A batting cage business in the South Valley is cleaning up an expensive mess left behind by thieves. News 13's Stephanie Chavez shows us the damage. It's the only entertainment for, for miles. On most days at the batter's edge batting cages, you can hear the whiz of the pitching machine and the crack of a bat. But today, it was quiet. That's it. Joe Archuleta and Adani Ruthini, employees at the batter's edge in the South Valley, says thieves and vandals are to blame. Whoever did this went through uh, quite, quite a bit of trouble. On Thursday night, someone cut the power to the business at the corner of Sunset and Jeanette and broke in through this hole in the stucco. This person came in, busted open a wall, um, and busted through our bathroom and broke all the piping in the bathroom. Ruthini describes the mess the burglar left for them to find on Friday morning. Is when we came in, the whole place was flooded. The, the tiles were raised up because of so much uh, sewage. They say the burglar took off with a computer, about a hundred bucks, a dozen bats, and some tokens. Oh. <laughs> to add insult to injury, Archuleta says vandals hit their business again on Saturday night, cutting the power a second time making it impossible for them to open on Sunday. I don't know if it's if we're being targeted or not, but it's, uh, it's kind, of, kind of frustrating, you know, because all we want to do is just be open and have fun. They say they lose hundreds of dollars every day they can't open, and it's upsetting that someone is taking from a small business who provides safe, clean fun for kids in the community. To think that somebody would violate their own neighborhood, their own community, a part of their own city, just to get what they think they deserve. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. PM restored power to that business this afternoon, so they are back open, but it will take at least a month to repair the damage to the bathrooms. Until then, they say they will have porta potties on the property.